goodbye to summer, but don't be sad. That means that there are great travel deals out there, and here to tell us about some of them is travel expert Mark Murphy. Hey. What's up, Mark? Good friend of our show, meet Carla Hall. Hey, Carla. <laughs> nice to meet you. So, shoulder season, yes. Right now, everyone's sad it's summer's over. Don't be sad. The best deals to be had are now through the fall till Thanksgiving in terms of travel. Caribbean, Mexico, international, you can snare a fantastic deal as long as you don't have to worry about your kids going to school. You mentioned so. shoulder season. I've never even heard I of know. that word. Yeah. Is this a new made-up word that you, you came up with? Uh, yeah, no, I know. It's been in the industry forever. They call it like off-season, shoulder season, and that's just a term we've been using for decades. And so that's what it is. And it's when they really underprice properties and airfare, et cetera, to get people moving and because the demand of school and everything else pulls you out of your um, you know uh, travel plans that's the reality of it all right so let's talk about some deals here yeah. uh, let's first let's talk about driving yeah a driving vacation this one's close Grand Rapids Tell us about uh, what's to offer there. All right, so three and a half hours, one of the top beer cities in America. You've got... <laughs> good, good for the kids. Yes, yes. <laughs> Everybody can drink. And you've got a fantastic uh, river there. You've got kayaking. You've got paddle boarding. You've got little tour boats. So because the weather's still good, mm -hmm. that's a great getaway. And you save on airfare. And just, you know, gas is still cheap. So you can go ahead and do that. But it's for active or drinking uh, vacations. Or eating, too. <laughs> okay, well, let's say you want to you wanna get on the airplane. You want to fly. Where are you going to go? I'm Where's going to deal? Denver because... Because again, I'm between the high summer season and the winter season, mm -hmm. and that's the best time. And the weather's still great, and you go to Boulder, and oh, you check out Boulder, Colorado. Boulder. I mean, it is just fan it's a fantastic destination, and it's just been going gangbusters in terms of people moving there. So get there while you still can, and it's cheap, five to 700 bucks. For per person for round trip air and hotels if you want to go there. I lived in Denver yeah. for 10 years. I went wow. to Colorado Boulder. Okay. I oh, graduated. No, my daughter's going there right now. Oh, really? Now. Yeah. Yes. Shout out Buffalo. Go Buffs. <laughs> yeah, my brother's a football coach there. It's a no fantastic way. place. Yeah. All right. I was there 10 years. I went to college for like nine. Yeah. Well, that's my yeah. daughter's. <laughs> my daughter's <laughs> maybe taking an extra year. <laughs> yeah. You might want to do that. All right. Let's talk about uh, a cruise. Uh, you know, I've never done a cruise. Uh, you definitely should. A lot of people have misperceptions about cruising. They're great vacations, great value. And go to Alaska. Again, it's the end of the season. Go to Alaska. Holland America's got a great sailing. Look at that view. The Eurodam, great ship. I've been on it. And it's spectacular. And you'll just you'll just love Alaska. Under a thousand bucks per person. Yeah, That's you... excellent. I went on my first cruise last year, and what I loved about it, because it was a tour, it's like your mo your your room moves and you just like yeah. get to go out and do things. Totally. It's such a great way to travel. Without a doubt, without a doubt. And all of these vacations we're talking about, these are great prices right oh, now yeah. during shoulder season. Yeah, because Alaska would be double the price in, in high right. season. Right. Question right. is, can you see uh, Russia from my house? Uh, no, but I can see it from the cruise ship. <laughs> all right. That's good. All right, so what about internationally? I mean, you've kept everything domestic. Okay, what if you big Polish community here in Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. So... Big time. Poland is a underrated hot destination for folks. Go to Krakow, Poland. Spectacular place. Um, the plaza there is spectacular. Just the architecture. And then you can get out and you can explore things which are a little, you know, shocking like Auschwitz, uh -huh. which is terrible. Um, Auschwitz 1 and Auschwitz 2. And then you can also just take a leisurely walk. You can go into a salt mine. I mean, a salt mine where you go hundreds of feet below the earth and then they've got literally a chapel inside the salt mine. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. A chapel, full blown. That's incredible. It's like a church here. And there's some shots of uh, Auschwitz. That's Camp One. And uh, it was one of those things where it's just so solemn. You're there. You mm -hmm. just you just can't believe this all happened in the last you know 80 years or so. Yeah, an incredible it's, history lesson for sure. Yeah. What's the um, what's the flight time it takes? You can fly direct. Yeah, you can. Um, you can fly. Uh, you can fly nonstop, but you can also do a lot of connections. And I would talk to a travel agent anytime you're going international or anything where it's a little more complicated. You may find going through Reykjavik in Iceland yep. to get there. You're going to save big bucks, and, and you might deals. even do a stopover in mm -hmm. Iceland. I heard that yeah. is the place to be. It's hot. Yes. It's yeah. hot. It's yeah. cold. It's hot. It's hot. It's cold. <laughs> Iceland I'm confused. is hot. Yeah. Yes. Our other international, easy international, is Mexico. Straight but Is shot. Mexico safe right now? Yeah. I've hear. I've heard things about Cancun not being safe, sure. or right now Val. Mm -hmm. Is in Cabo. Uh, are these safe destinations? Totally safe. And so the thing is, the State Department updated their warnings back a few weeks ago in July. Mm -hmm. Here's the reality every tourist area was deemed safe for American travelers. And so on a per capita basis, the crime against tourists is minimal. But because it's our neighbor to the south, it gets inflated a lot. And no offense to the media, because I'm in the media world, but sometimes they blow things literally out of proportion. Right. And that's the case right. it, it, with Mexico. Very safe. I'm actually taking my entire company there 
today after the show. Wow. I'm flying to Cancun after the show. Is there an extra seat? You can't yeah, come on. You? Let's go. <laughs> can I work so, for you? So that's how worried I am, and I, I've been there six times this year. So wow, and you brought mm. a little something special. Yes, I couldn't. I couldn't literally bring it here to you, mm. but you get to get the visual. Mm -hmm. um, there's a giveaway. It's for the TRS Carl Hotel. It's a seven-night all-inclusive stay, luxury property. It isn't even open yet. It isn't even open yet. It's opening in November. So we're giving away seven nights. So they're giving away seven nights. All inclusive, everything paid for, including round trip transfers to the airport. Oh, yeah. And by the way, you're also getting free round trip airfare up to $750 per person. Wow. Compliments of the Mexico tourist, uh, tourism folks. Wow. So this That's is incredible. just a phenomenal deal. Yeah, what's the value of this? Uh, you're over 7000 bucks. Over 7000 <laughs> Yeah. I mean, talk about having an incentive to get away. I mean, look at that. They, you, you, you're sitting there. You got a butler who's going to come in and take orders for you. Yeah, I mean, come on. This your Live job, like Mark? a king. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, I get to look at the pictures. I don't really get to travel. Uh, that's anywhere. a beautiful thing. <laughs> Make sure you head to windycitylive.com and click on promotions for your chance to enter to win that amazing trip to the TRS Coral Hotel in Cancun. Am I eligible? No. Uh,